In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to put together a multi-cam sequence, how to edit it in Premiere Pro, and some tips for shooting multi-cam sequences. The alternative to the way I'm going to show you guys today is buying a program called Pluralize or manually syncing up all your cameras in post-production. And I've done that personally when I first started out before I knew about this hack and it did take me quite a bit of time to do that. So hopefully you guys get some value from this. If you do, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Let's see if we can break 10 likes in this video and let's get into it. <laughs> What's going on guys? My name is Ryan Snod, it rhymes with odd, and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to synchronize multiple cameras in Premiere Pro so it can save you guys some time and energy when you're in your editing process. If you try and run multiple cameras at one time and you've tried to manually connect all these in post, you know exactly the type of struggle that I'm talking about. My hope is that this video can help you guys speed along your editing workflow and get back to creating really valuable content for your podcasts, interviews, unboxings, or whatever types of videos you guys like to make. Now, when you're shooting with the cameras, you wanna set up two or more different angles depending on the type of video you're doing. You can do things like dead center, you can do the dark side going to the profile view, you can do a behind the scenes video that does doesn't even really show your face or anything, it just kind of shows the scene that you're in. You can do a top-down view, you can do an inside-out looking view directly behind someone, which looks kind of weird. <laughs> you can do an up-close micro view. It really just depends on what type of video you're doing. If I was just making this video alone talking directly to you and I didn't have any different cuts, sometimes that would get a little bit dry. So this is a good way to kind of spice up your edits and make sure it keeps it visually interesting to your audience. Now, all the cameras need to have some type of onboard microphone, whether it is the onboard microphone on the camera itself or a shotgun microphone on the top. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have audio running out of all the different cameras at the same time. So a good rule of thumb is start the main camera, start the secondary camera, and start the third camera, and just let them run continuously through the entire video. Now, I'm running my audio through an external lavalier microphone, which is right here on my chest, and it is connected to my main camera here. If you're running your audio source into a camera, make sure you're putting it into your main camera that you have, because that's gonna be important when we go into post as well. You also wanna make sure that the frame rates and the aspect ratios are the same for all of your cameras. So for this situation, I'm running 1920 by 1080, at 24 frames per second on all three of my cameras. You don't have to do that, but it does make it look more cohesive when you string all these together as well. Now, before you get things started, make sure to give it a loud clap to synchronize the audio or some kind of weird sound. <laughs> some kind of super weird sound uh, that is distinctive. When we get into editing, that will be important. Now that you have all your cameras set up, you're recording, you've clapped, you have all the mics set up, everything's ready to go, go about shooting the video as you normally would. Now if you're behind the scenes, make sure that you monitor the cameras to make sure they're all running. If you're in a situation like me where I'm recording myself, make sure that you have microphones set up and monitors so you know which cameras are rolling and which ones are not. Now that you are done with the shooting part, let's get into the editing room and I'll show you exactly how to edit this in Premiere Pro. So first you're gonna take all of your SD cards and offload them into your desired folder on your computer. Once they're on your computer, then you're going to import them into Premiere Pro. This is the part where you wanna really make sure that you keep everything organized. So make sure that you import things and label which cameras everything is. And if you have external audio, make sure you label that as well. Now make sure that your main camera that is pulling the best audio is going to be labeled Cam 1 or Camera 1. The reason I do this is because then I know which one I wanna sync the audio to as we combine all the footage here. Once you have everything labeled, you're going to select all, right click and hit create multi-cam sequence. Then this super scary looking dialog box pops up and you're going to select sync with audio. Once the sync with audio box pops up, make sure to go to the options and click camera one. If you pick any of the other options, it's going to switch to the camera audio on each camera every time that you switch over to that camera. The reason we don't wanna do that is because we wanna make sure that the camera audio is coming from this lab right here on all the cameras that we go to, whether we're going to this one or another one, we wanna make sure that the, all the audio is consistent and it sounds the same for throughout the entire video. And then name this multi-cam sequence, whatever you'd like, and hit OK. Once you drop that into your timeline, you're going to see that it's just going to be the main camera only. And that's OK because you don't have multi-cam put into your program yet. So it's really simple. All you have to do is toggle in that view. So you're just going to go to the plus icon in the editing tab and select multi-cam and just drag that into your toolbar. So click that and then it's going to give you all the different camera feed options that you have synced up in that sequence. But however many cameras you have, 
you're going to see all of them that you can choose from and then you're going to have the live feed on the right hand side. So then here's the really cool part. All you have to do is hit the space bar to play all the way through this multi-cam sequence. And then every time that you wanna to cut to a different camera, all you have to do is just hit one, two, three, or four, whichever one's going to correspond to however many cameras you have. So since I'm using three cameras, all I have to do is either hit one to go to the main camera here, or hit two to go to the secondary camera, or three to go to the behind the scenes camera. To speed up your workflow a little bit, just watch the entire thing all the way through, cut where you see fit, and then when you're done, you can go in and pick out different clips you wanna cut and remove completely, or switch out different camera angles as well. So if you're going through the edit and you don't like the camera angle, just click the clip in the timeline and then just hit whichever keyboard number that you wanna switch cameras to. Boom! Now you're an editing magician and you can go show all your friends your cool new trick. My question of the day for you guys is what types of videos are you using for multi-cam sequencing? Make sure to drop it in the comment section below. I wanna hear what you guys are making with this type of stuff, whether it's the interviews, whether it's podcasting, unboxing videos, whatever it is, I can't wait to hear what you guys are using this type of strategy for in your video production process. Now, if you wanna learn how to make an income producing videos for folks, I put together a free online training teaching you my five secrets to creating a freelance videography income. So if you're interested in learning more about that free training, I will put that in the description box below, as well as some other free resources that I've offered in the past just to help you guys out as you start to maneuver this process. Okay, that about does it for me guys. My name's Ryan Snot, helping you grow your brand with video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you're not already to the channel, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.